you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is actually easy now let's solve together the question says how many sigma bond are in two butane now this question is extremely very easy first of all they are asking us to determine the numbers of bond present in this compound but specifically sigma bond are you getting me now specifically what sigma bond and we have to understand what type of compound this particular substance is they said it is two butane now we have to know if this compound is an organic compound or an inorganic compound looking at this compound it is an organic compound yes it is an organic compound so for we to be able to determine the numbers of sigma bond present in this compound we have to basically draw out the structure of this compound it is extremely easy make sure you go watch my video lesson on the introductory aspect to naming organic compounds i started in that video from the scratch till match three i believe that video lesson will help you improve greatly but in this particular video lesson i'm still going to make sure that i explain to you and you understand how to solve questions under this aspect now it is two butane what did i say first let us draw out the structure of this compound simple i saw two butane this is very important here boots in that particular video lesson i explained that whenever an organic compound has one carbon the prefix name of that compound should start with met okay i said for one carbon but if an organic compound has two carbon it should start with x if it is three carbon it should start with prop if it is four carbon it should start with but here i believe you can see it it's actually easy go watch that video you'll be able to understand the rudiments of this aspect but i'll explain that this particular compound now has how many carbons due to the name four carbons but forget about this part i'm going to come there okay so first of all let's draw out our carbons you know these carbons are bonded together they are bonded together you can see how we've done it already do you understand now moving further they said that the name of the compound is two butane very easy now let's get back to this other part of the compound called iron now we have to understand some introductory concept here whenever an organic compound's name ends with a like in terms of methane okay ends with a you know that that compound has single bond for example methane you can see that it ends with A, A and E. Okay? Whenever an organic compound ends with A and E, you know that that compound should have, have, have what type of bond? Single bond. But if it ends with E and E, E, you know that that compound has double bond. But if it ends with Y and E, I, you know that that compound should have triple bond. This is something you must note, you must take note of. So, I believe you've understand the concept. Now, this compound ended what? I'm butyne, butyne. But specifically, what they say? Two butyne. This tool here shows us or tells us the position of the carbon to which this butyne is found, to which this functional group is seen. Because these are functional groups, okay? Okay, they help to tell us the chemical property of that compound. This is what is telling me that this compound is an alkyne. Do you understand? Because these are alkanes, these are alkenes. So it is because of this one, I know that this compound is an alkyne. And they said it is two, two butane. So basically, moving further, you can see the numbers of carbons we are having here, four. So which can I which will i ascribe to be the second carbon i can just ascribe this to be the word second carbon are you following me please listen carefully it is extremely easy so let's count this is one two three and four so i will say this is my second carbon are you following me now and they said that the functional group the i functional group why any functional group was found in carbon two that is why it's called two butane so then this is my carbon two so it's gonna be here are you following me it's actually very easy please watch now i know you are wondering like you are not saying that okay this 
functional group is between two carbons now two and three so which will i ascribe it to why did i not say it's two butane this is two butane why am i saying this because you have to note that your functional group should take the lower number as possible in the sense that if this you can see now it, it is between two and three we always ascribe it to a lower number so basically it should be two time you understand what i just said i believe you understand what i just said if this was here it's gonna be like one butane hope you get my point hope you understand what i'm trying to say so that's the concept about uh, locating the functional group between the two carbons atoms do you understand so this is two butane so next we have to do is to now uh, put in our carbons because this is an hydrocarbon this compound is what an hydrocarbon meaning that it contains just hydrogen and carbon okay guys moving further as earlier said for this compound it is what an hydrocarbon meaning that it contains just hydrogen and carbon so the other part of this compound should occupy hydrogen meaning that all these other carbons should what occupy hydrogen so there should be h here please watch oh it's very very important h should be here as well h should be here as well now we have to be very careful here you cannot tell me you will now put let's remove the numbering so it don't confuse us so you can't tell me that you put hydrogen here again no remember carbon is tetravalent okay that means the total number of bonds that should surround carbon is four so looking at this carbon now it is four carbon uh, bonds that is surrounding it one two three four it's correct looking at this carbon now it is four as well one two three four correct i cannot go and add another bond or put it down as done here no it doesn't work that way you have to be very careful with your bond allocation so let's check for these how many bonds surrounding it one two three four this is correct as well and uh, but the last one is not yet correct because it's one two three and four so you can see i've ascribed to the uh carbon hydrogen atoms so this now drawn is what two butane now moving further there is something we have to watch out for now we've drawn the structure let us determine the number of sigma bond it's actually very easy this must be noted it must be noted here that in organic compound as you are looking at here all of these bonds they are regarded to be called covalent bond what did i say they are called what covalent bonds they are not electrovalent bonds so it is covalent bond that is seen in all organic compounds this covalent bond can be of two groups it can be either the, the one they are asking us which is sigma bond or can be either pi bond are you following me sigma bond or what pi bond sigma bond is noted or denoted with this symbol whereby for pi bond here is the symbol so how do we know a particular compound having sigma bond or pi bond very easy now please listen let me just use this to explain it please watch look in, look at this double bond sorry look at this triple bond here you have to understand that for for you to be a sigma bond sigma bond is the first bond that existed between uh, uh, two atoms connection whereby any other bond you will see should be called a pi bond please listen carefully so on this listen i said sigma bond is the first bond you saw in a particular connection between two atoms so now let's assume that we have atoms here like carbon carbon like the way we are seeing it here now so how many bonds are you seeing at three so the first one should be called the sigma bond are you following me it should be called what the sigma bond whereby the other ones that should appear should be called what the pi bond because it's two others that appeared do you understand so using that looking at this example now the first one that appears should be called the sigma bond so we have one sigma and how many other ones that appear one again should be called what pi bond one pi bond one sigma bond one pi bond for the last alkane here how many it's not just what you are seeing the first one that appears always should be your sigma bond so here we have one sigma bond and no pi bond i believe you are following me so with this knowledge let's get back to this particular practice question so what do we do next very easy you can see first of all let's count let's count the sigma bond the first bond that appear between any atoms connection should be called your sigma bond so i can call this a sigma bond one two three okay three four right let's do it carefully watch this will give us the fifth bond so five you know this other two that appear that pi bond so we have five we can count this one again six seven 
eight and nine. Wow, we have how many sigma bond here? Nine sigma bond. How many pi bond? Though we're not asked that. How many pi bond? Two pi bond. Are you following me? It's actually very easy. So, from the options given to us, the answer to this question should be option C. I believe you understand how it's done. It's extremely very easy, okay? So, what will happen next? I'm going to give you a practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section. Now, I'm going to change the compound and the compound will be changed to be 2 pentine. It's simple, okay? First of all, follow the steps uh, given to you in this video lesson by drawing the structure of the two pentine follow it carefully paint is five carbons draw your five carbons and allocate your hydrogen and this is two pentine the the carbon two should be the triple bond functional group and then you then determine the numbers of sigma bond okay do that and provide the answer in the comment section we've come to the end of this video lesson if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share with your friends Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.